is a full face of a brand I ain't ever fucking heard of. And this is my new series. Every once in a while, we're going to try a brand that I've never fucking heard of. We're going to see what we think. On the chopping block today, Ilya Beauty. Now, I've heard of Ilya Beauty. It's literally at Sephora. But I've never tried the products. I am going to do my brows how I normally would. So Ilya's whole thing is that they're clean. They have a lot of skin-loving ingredients. And I like that they're fragrance-free. So this is the True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. We're going to start with this. Y'all know I love me some radiant skin. Thin, very absorbent. It's like an immediate radiance. It has aloe vera in it, which is good because I have redness on the face. It says it's firming, which I can feel, and it absorbs immediately, and it gives this nice glowy finish. I like it. Okay, I got two complexion products, the True Skin Serum Foundation and the Serum Skin Tint. I might do one on each half. Now, this looks nice. Niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid and SPF 40. Cute packaging. I'm not going to pre-cover any of my blemishes or acne scars, just so we can really see the coverage. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of a rash from the Priming Serum. That's very weird. So if that continues, uh, I... <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's starting to come on this side too. Shit. Low-key scared now, but we're going to keep going. Let's do the serum first on this side of the face. I'm using shade 1. I'm going to blend it in with a brush. Me getting a rash on my face is very unusual. Like, that does not happen to me. The skin tint is very unexpectedly glowy. Here's the side with the tinted serum and the side without. You can see that it did a good job at neutralizing redness. You can see acne scans and acne still peek through, which is fine. Not every product is meant to give you full intense coverage that covers everything. This is meant to have the skin seen. For the summer, I'm all about that. The finish is very unexpected. It's like really shiny and glowy. I would just tone it down with a little bit of satin powder, but I like how hydrating it is. I think the shade match is perfect too. All right, now let's try the serum foundation. Shade one again. Oh, it's runny, just like the tint. Wow, this is even lighter coverage. I did. I expected it to be more coverage. It's so light. It feels like I'm putting nothing on my face, but it is neutralizing the redness. It's such a big blemish right here, and, and this product is not gonna cover it. <laughs> it's less coverage, it's a way thinner consistency. And it's just slightly less glowy. I want to see if I can build the coverage. Yup, the coverage is nicely buildable. I appreciate that. You know, these are so pretty on the freaking skin. But because of that light coverage I'm getting, I got to use my NAS Pot Concealer to, you know, cover up these blemishes, acne scars. I'll feather that in with a brush. Gosh, these are so unexpectedly pretty on the skin. Oh my goodness. I like both of them. Go to pack two.